A new study shows the growing gap between the number of qualified professionals leaving China compared to those choosing to settle here. In an annual report on Chinese international migration, the Beijing-based think tank, the Center for China and Globalization, says more than 9 million Chinese nationals have emigrated in 23 years, taking with them billions of dollars in assets along with their technical know-how. To discuss the numbers behind them, I'm joined now by my colleague Wu Haojun. Uh, Haojun, some figures there that are going to concern um, the leaders especially who are trying to grow talent here, who are trying to uh, really develop this country. Give us more details as well as the context on that. Sure, James. First, to provide a bit of a historical context here, let's take a look at this graph. As you can see, back in 1990, there were about uh, 4 million Chinese nationals working and living overseas compared to 376,000 foreign nationals living in China, resulting in a gap of 3.7 million. Looking at the figures now, the number of foreign nationals living in China increased only marginally, while the number of Chinese immigrants ballooned, widening the gap to 8.5 million. The U.S. was identified as the top destination for Chinese immigrants. Many people were found to be literally buying their way into the U.S. In 2012, 6,124 Chinese nationals moved to the United States as investment immigrants. And China has become the second largest foreign buyer of property in the U.S. Chinese people bought $12.3 billion worth of property in the U.S. from March 2012 to March 2013. That's certainly a lot of houses there. James. Indeed. Well, quite a lot of money leaving the country. But what about the majority of people who are not billionaires? How are they pursuing their dreams abroad? Well, nowadays, money can literally buy you a spot in pretty much any country in the world. But there are other ways. In fact, reports says Chinese immigrants were concentrated in the 35 to 55 age group of middle income earners. In other words, they're mostly uh, skilled professionals. The main reasons identified for them leaving China included education for their children and unsurprisingly the pollution problem here in China. And the report also pointed to an interesting trend. We're seeing more and more skilled blue collar workers leaving China for jobs abroad. By blue collar <coughs> workers, here I mean pipeline workers, welders, carpenters, and so on. In 2012, half a million of them left China to seek work overseas, most of them to countries like Australia and Canada. Back to you, James. Thanks very much. We'll have you following that story for us.